everybody helped us get to this place. Uh, my co-trainer, Hassan Bayat, Mike Rodriguez, um, great cut man. He's been with us since the very beginning. I want to thank uh, Brad and Sylvia Owens. Uh, Brad was the one who helped uh, bring Julian and Al Heyman four years ago. He saw them fighting on the card. We were having a, a tough time getting a lot of fights. And uh, he was real instrumental in that. I want to thank uh, Al Heyman. Uh, he really stepped up to the plate with um, this promotion. I've talked to him more times in the last two months than I have in the last four years. It's probably somewhere in here hiding, but I want to thank you anyway. Um, I want to thank Richard and uh, Goosen Promotions for uh, this is a class promotion. Um, they did a good job. You know, when you get off the plane, everybody's looking for that per diem. Everybody's hungry. They was waiting for us in the lobby to make sure we were straight. So uh, I really appreciate that. But most of all, uh, I want to thank Julian Williams. Because without the right horse in the race, you know, the trainer's job, I don't, I don't care who you are, you can know everything about boxing. You can hit the pads and do all of that stuff. But unless you got a talented fighter, you know, it doesn't really matter. So I want to thank Julian Williams for being a hell of a fighter, for going through a lot of things that you, people didn't know he was going through behind the scenes. Uh, for listening to me, for staying the course. A uh, quick story about five years ago, he called me up and said, man, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to take classes. This boxing stuff is not working out for me. You know, I got more bills and I got money. And, you know, you never tell a young kid not to get an education because education is very important. But I said, I said, Joel, look, man, don't worry about it. I said, I'm going to help you make the ends meet. I said, you fight too good. You got your college degree in boxing. Don't quit. And I said, all I want you to do is one thing for me. And he said, what's that? I said, just listen to me and do everything I tell you to do. And I said, in a few years, you're going to be the most fair dude walking in 154 pound division. And it was rough. The winters in Philly get like 25 degrees. He didn't have a car. We out there every morning like a savage. And I, and I looked at him the other day, I said, see where you at now. So I just want to just thank him for being a hell of a fighter and a hell of a kid. Also want to um, give a lot of respect to uh, Jamal Charlo and Ronnie Shields. I think Ronnie Shields is a great trainer. I think he's very underrated when everybody talks about the better trainers in boxing. He had Evander Holyfield, who's my favorite fighter. Meldrick Taylor, who's from Philadelphia. Um, you know, nobody ever mentions Ronnie Shell. I think he should be in the Hall of Fame for the job he's done with both of the uh, Charlo brothers. And Jamal, too. For some reason, people think it's bad blood, but it's just a fight. You know, Julian just wants to fight. He wants to be a world champion, and Jamal is in his way. There's no bad blood on our part. It's all business. But whether they think it's bad blood or not, it don't matter because they got to fight Saturday night. But I want to let them two know that I appreciate them. I appreciate Jamal for stepping up to the plate. And I got a lot of respect for Ronnie Shields. And Saturday night, you guys are going to see why this kid's been the best kept secret in boxing. Thank you.